Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Scorched Earth. Over here at our new little kind of hatchery that we built in the last, well, two videos it took us to get it done. Everybody's awake, except for our rock elemental. Dude is still taking a nap, man. <laughs> Hard day sitting in a crowd pod all day. Anyways, for today, we got a little bit of gather work we need to do before we actually get into what we're doing. We're going to be trying to tame one of the hyenas that are pretty close by base here. There's two different packs. There's one just outside of our gates and then one up kind of the mountain that we saw. I think it was in the last video we passed by them. But we need to make some ghillie armor. We have some parts that we've looted. And then whatever we don't have, we'll just go ahead and make some up. I don't know if we have enough of the organic polymer. If we don't, we'll just go out and grab some from the Manus, but we might have some left over from the last video. So, let's go ahead, get started on it. It's getting towards nighttime, so I'd like to see how much we can get done before night hits. Get on our little speed rabbit here, man. Oh, dude, he goes so fast. I forgot to bring him over, man. He's kind of sitting out here by himself. So with this hyena, we can't aggro it, and we need to separate it from the pack. It's kind of got a weird mechanic. We actually have to pet it to be able to tame it. So no tranks, no foods. We just need to be a little bit stealthy. All right, so we got a chest piece. We have the head piece and we have the feet. So we need, we just need legs, right? Legs and gloves. All right, not too bad. Let's see what we have left over for polymer. We might have enough, I'm kinda hoping. And what are we missing? Just some hide and fiber. Fairly simple to make, man. Grab two of those out, that should be enough. And don't worry, I did not forget about all of our little Jerboas. They will be coming over here soon. I just wanna wait until I get a cryo storage for them. Which, I don't know. We'll see how much time we got today. We might end up doing that. What are we missing? Oh, the legs. Cool. And I need to go on a metal run soon too, man. We're uh, we're pretty much out in here. All these are just kind of smelting up for charcoal. Well, at least we didn't have to go out and kill any manis because, dude, they're kind of getting thin. All the ones I keep killing lately. So let's put these on. And these, and we'll probably hold on to our desert armor. Just keep it with us for right now. Just in case something goes bad. And let's get rid of this chainsaw. And the rest of this stuff can kind of stay in here. Oh, wait. Dude, we got a hundred gas. I don't know what for. We'll leave it in there for now. There's somewhere I was supposed to put it or else I would have had it on me. It's <laughs> the way it goes sometimes, man. We do have a saddle, actually. Mm, maybe we should grab that real quick, too. We'll probably just put it in a cryopod. Whenever we find it. Oh, maybe it was a blueprint that I had. Yeah, it's a blueprint. Okay, we'll make that later. Let's go ahead and get this thing tamed before it gets dark. We can always come over here and make that afterwards. Not a big deal. And I kind of want to go on foot. For the first pack, just because they're right over here, and we need... Thought the ceiling was broke. But, uh, we need to separate them. I think we'll just leave him in here. So if this guy gets near his, like, his pack leader, or if we get aggro on him, it will mess up the team, and we'll have to start all over. Let's go ahead and try to lure this... Carno over here. Hopefully he has not killed off the hyenas because that would suck. Come on, big boy. Uh-huh. Never stood a chance. All right, so. Where did they go? Up there by the Argentavis, I believe. Kind of wild colors on him, too, man. What level is he? 36. It's kind of like tropical colors almost, man. Alright, where are you guys at? Oh, I hear you guys coming, though. Little bugs, man. Oh, the hyenas are gone. We might have to jump on the Argentavis and do some scouting to find them. They're definitely not here where they were. They might have moved. Or might have been killed. 
What is this over here? That's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock, dude. I thought it was a dead dino, like they, they took it out or something. Huh. Alright, I'm going to head back over there. We'll jump on the Argentavis. And I was going to try to build a trap, but I also wanted to do it without a trap. You know, kind of separate it, kill them off, and then do it that way. Just so it's a little bit different. I don't really want to have to build anything else. We've done quite a bit of building recently. I'm kind of burned out on it. Dude, that is some crazy tropical colors on that thing. There's another one there, too. And we're out of stamina. Fantastic. If you missed it in the last video, we went ahead and made all this. Kind of nice little stalls for all of our teams and stuff. And that guy for breeding. We'll use these for breeding as well. Don't really need the stalls. I just think it looks kind of nice. And then we have everybody kind of in here nice and safe. I have not completed the wall over there yet, though. I'll probably do that sometime here soon. <laughs> it needs to get done before anything comes in. Alright, so we're going to head this way. If we don't see them, then right up over this ridge was another set of them. But I'm kind of worried because if this set's gone, maybe the other one is too. I don't know if they roam around. It's a good possibility. Hmm, yeah. Alright, let's head up the mountain a little bit. Try to find that pack up there. Hopefully. Hopefully they haven't gone very far. Alright, so here's a whole pack of them. Right here. Let's let them take out that saber and then I'll grab the one that's glowing. Oh, missed them. I want to get the one that's glowing because that's probably at the highest level. And then we need to separate them from the pack. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, dude, that was horrible. That's all right. They can't get up to here. Well, they can't get up to here. Ah, oh, man. Look, I think I got a bunch of health. It's all right, man. I'm coming for you. Give me just a minute. There we go. That should be good. Nice. Okay, I got him. Let's just drop him over here near base. We'll let him get kind of calm down, de-aggro a little bit, and then we'll... Try to go ahead and pet them. I don't think anybody will follow us. They can't really make it over the mountain there. And I'm not sure, but I think we need to fly at a render range so that he doesn't see us and have aggro on us anymore. Not too sure, man. This is all kind of like a new mechanic to me. Let's go ahead and drop him and see where he goes. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's way down there. And he hit just hit the ground. Cool, let's drive, go over here, drive over here. Let's fly over here, drop the bird off. Is he calm? He might have a little bit of aggro still. All right, cool, I think we're all right. Let's drop the bird off, go on foot. Only thing is we need to kind of keep an eye out for him because if he comes running for us, it's gonna kind of not let us tame him. All right, he was right over here by the rocks. Let's go into third person view. Should be able to see a little bit better. Oh, there he is there. Okay, cool. Cool. Ah, oh, don't see me. We gotta be crouched. Dude, that's a perfect spot, man, in between all those rocks like that. Go somewhere else, Argentavis. So level 28, so he's not that high of a level, but that's fine. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. I feed you, but from what I heard, you don't want any food. Oh, there we go. Nice. So we got 30 seconds so we can pet him again. Now it's 22%. So that's not too bad. Dude, I hate to do a high level one. Oh, man, that Argentavis, though. I kind of want to get the shotgun out. I don't think it'll aggro him, but he might try to go for the corpse, you know? At least there's a timer on it, versus other stuff where you have to do it, and there is no timer. Nice. Oh, he's sad. That's pretty cool. So I wonder if they get a pack bonus, if we take more than one of them.
Maybe we'll try that. We'll get this one tamed. I do like the pattern on them in the colors. And then we'll go back, grab another one, and do the same thing. Try to drop them in the same area because this little closed-in area kind of keeps them from wandering too far. Let him do one more circle around here. We'll go in for another pet, see what his timer's at. Nice. 67%. So we can't ride him. He's just used for like a little pack mule, man. He's kind of like a mobile refrigerator for meat. Oh, don't go that way. No, don't go that way, dude. Stay over here, man. We only need to pet you like one or two more times. But yeah, we can put the that saddle on him and he'll keep meat and stuff. So it's kind of good if you use him for like doing mutton runs and stuff or prime meat runs. Nice. One more and that's it. So, 97% effectiveness, and he'll get 13 extra levels. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to put that into health and weight, I'm guessing. He's not going to really be a fighter. <laughs> not being that low of a level. All right, buddy. Don't go over here and get all messed up, man. We got one more pet to do on you. Three seconds. Nice, and he's ours. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. That's not too bad of a mechanic there. So, we good for a minute? Let's see what his stats are. So his health is 420. His stamina is 416. His weight is 190. Damage is 180%. And movement speed 130%. And he's only level 41. But that's fine. Actually, instead of... Oh, we can pet him. Oh, that's kind of neat. I wonder what that does. Does that give a buff to him? Let's go ahead and just take him in. We won't cryopod him, that way we don't have to worry about cryo sickness. And let's grab a second one, just to see if he'll get a little buff or something. And I wonder how, or not a buff, but a, like a pack bonus. And I wonder what that means. Whenever we pet him. Maybe increase damage if we have him find, oh! Th well, there's another one. Dude, come over here, man. Well, that's kind of weird timing there. Um. Ah, dude. I want to get inside the gate without that one seeing us. So that might, must have been part of the ones that I saw that were over there. I wonder if that Carno took off out the rest of them, you know? Come on up here, dude. Alright, you just stay there, man. So where did he go to? It's like I said, we have to kind of crouch to get up near him. He looked pretty cool too, man. Black colored. What's up, little jug bug? Do I tell you what, man? <laughs> Those guys disappear so quick. Watch them be like in the bushes. Dude, where did he go, man? I'll tell you what, it's always something with you, hungry, you're thirsty, oh, there he is, oh, man, he saw me. Oh, but he didn't go running. Let's crouch down, see if we can still do it. I think I read that if he gets aggro on you, he won't have the prompt to be able to pet him. Maybe that won't be the case, hopefully. Alright, dude, we're gaining on you, man. Just keep walking. Oh, he's a 68, too. Holy crap. That's a lot. That's gonna take a lot more pets, I think. Nice. So, 20% still. So, that's not too bad. Take about five of them. At least we clean that Carno out, man. Ah, oh, but that Carno killed off the rest of the pack because there was a five or six of them that we kept passing that was right up the hill there. Boy, he's eyeing me, isn't he? Get out of the grass, man. I can't see you. Making this difficult. Oh, dude. I don't think he'll come for me. I think he'll just mess the tame up. If he starts running from me. Nice, there we go. Kind of worried about the Argentavis, man. There's a bunch of them over here, too. I think there's like three of them. Oh. 
No, nah, that seemed to be good. Nobody got aggro from anybody else, so that's kind of a plus, as long as they stay away from me, too. Five more seconds, get another pet in. So we got 20% off the first one and only like 14 off the second one. Oh, man. Got too close. So that one took it away. Did you see that? It went up to 50-something percent. And then it dropped it down to 37. So at least it doesn't mess up the tame all the way. It just kind of reduces uh, how much you've already done. I bet it messed up the taming effectiveness, too. Yeah, it's down to 82%. Or 98. Nope, didn't mess it up, really. Three seconds, get another pit in. Nice, so now it's at 57. So yeah, it just knocks it down one bar. So this might be the last one here. Oh, one more, dude. Look at that, 97.9. Oh, man, it's because I messed it up. We would have been done on that one if I wouldn't have messed that other one up over there. But I've noticed as you pet him... The more that he gets tamed, like the closer, he starts like sitting down and wagging his tail and stuff like that. So that's kind of neat. It's not the same where he just keeps walking and stuff. Dude's got some red eyes too, man. I think we'll just do two and then we'll just make saddles for them both. Awesome, man. So he turned out to be a level 100. What's the rest of your stats? 630 on the health. Stamina is 520. Weight is 221, damage is 247%, and movement speed 130%. Where'd you go, man? Come over here, dude. <laughs> Start messing with stuff. Get killed. Cool. We need to make a little saddle for you, man. I got a friend in here for you. What are you? Are you a male or female? So that's a male. I don't know what this other one is that's in here. Tell you what, man. I need to put a little doggy door in over here because that one's just way too big. Oh, get in here, dude. Come over here, man. And this one's a male as well. So he does have the pack bonus. It says plus one up there. Hmm. Dude, I bet if you got like a bunch of these. Oh, man. Talk about a, uh, a deadly combination. You get them all leveled up on like health and damage. I'll tell you what. You guys stay there. It is getting towards nighttime. Let's run over. Make us two saddles. And we'll throw them on and take a quick look at how they interact with like meat and stuff kind of see if they get like a weight reduction or what kind of goes on with it and i need to get some more water dude and we should go ahead and change out our armor because i didn't realize this stuff gets a reduction for water use so if you look on it it has where is it weapon damage percent that's actually a reduction for your water usage and i don't think yeah, so it's kind of set across the board. Our Ascendant one is the same as our primitive pieces. So I think we needed some metal. I don't remember how much. And we'll see what else we need for it. And I don't know where we make it. Maybe the smithy? Let's drop that for right now. Oh, it looks like maybe just in our... Inventory. So hide and fiber, hmm? How much hide is it for each one? Oh my gosh! 2200! Holy crap! Well, we're gonna have to do a little bit of farming on that. <laughs> we'll take the wyvern out. And then how much uh, of the fiber? Man, we're gonna need some more fiber too. I think I have a sickle in here that I looted. Possibly. I do. All right, let me get some resources gathered up, and it is our inventory, right? Yep, it is, but I'm not going to carry all this metal around. All right, it is nighttime, so I'm going to farm this little bit of stuff up, and then we'll come back and see how it does with these. So give me a few minutes, man. It's going to take a minute for that much hide. All right, we are pretty weighed down. I have plenty of everything, man. I got hide, I got meat, I got some prime meat. I don't have any of the fiber yet. We're gonna grab that from right here. Be fairly easy to get. I just wanna get this prime meat from that parasaur that I killed into the grill here real quick. That'll help out, man. The 
tames over there since we have so many feeding troughs. Dude, they're eating it so fast. Nice. Get all this into here. Prime meat first, please. I don't know if we're going to have enough room for it all. What is going on over here? Where did you come from? He tearing up my Anki, man. He's sleeping. Ooh, I'm at a... <laughs> I gotta reload. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and put a turret up over here. Were you trying to take him out? He's like 20 times your size, dude. I'm just saying, I appreciate the effort, but please don't die. <laughs> Preferably. Ah, we don't want that. A little bit more prime meat, not much. Now, where were we? Wait, where did the saber go? Ah, you were trying to, weren't you, buddy? Alright, get all this into him. Or into here. We'll just put this out into here. Hopefully there's still some spark powder in there. There is. Put him back up top here. Alright, so I just need to grab some fiber real quick. And then we should be good. Should get pretty fast like this. Yeah, I think we need like 2,000. So it'll just take a second. Not long at all, man. Wait, why don't we get berries? Huh, that's weird. I thought we were only supposed to get fiber doing this. How much was it that we needed total? About 2,400, 2,500? Almost there. I think... Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Plenty! Let's go back and grab our metal. Yep, see, that's already empty of meat, too. Ah, oh, dude. Stay there, buddy. I'll be back for you in a minute. Probably just make it right here at the vault. Because we need a little bit more than a stack. Two of those, please. Probably only needed one, really, but might as well put saddles on them both, man. Just in case something happens. Alright, get rid of that, and we'll throw the rest in here. Dude, I was hoping to have a little bit extra hide than that, but... Those things, man, they use a lot. Alright, we'll leave the blueprint in here as well. Alright, back over. Cross the bridge. Wish we had zip lines on this map, man. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and put this guy away. Not leave him out like I usually do. Alright, guys. Let's take a look and see what we got. It's one for you. And one for you. And you come with me over here. I think I got some meat still in the fridge. I just want to see if he gets a weight reduction, and then we'll check out to see what the timer's like and stuff. Just wait right there, buddy. Alright, so one stack of meat weighs five pounds. Two pounds. Okay, get a weight reduction. And then for the timer, 11 minutes... And an hour 29. So not bad. So he gets a weight reduction and increased time on it. Now, can he carry an egg? He can. No weight reduction. Spoil time, 28 days. Seven. Okay, cool. So he still gets... So the egg is like a mobile refrigerator, man. So we'll definitely put points into their weight. And then, of course, health to, to keep them alive. I don't know how much we'll use them, but it is very nice to have. Especially when we start our playthroughs to where we it's going to be harder settings. I don't want to have easier settings on all the maps, so we'll eventually make it to where it's a little bit harder. And they'll come into play then because we'll, uh, we'll use them for, like, egg runs and use them for, as a mobile refrigerator for, like, lamb chops. Mainly, that's the main thing, dude. Sometimes it's hard to find the sheep around. Well, not too bad of a day, man. We have two hyenas, and then I'm not sure what we're going to do with them. But they do look pretty cool, man. I, I should have got some paint and done those black. It'd look a little bit better on them. <laughs> oh, dude, I kind of wish you could ride them. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Hopefully you like our new little guard dogs. Maybe I'll turn them loose out in the yard with the raptors once I get that wall finished and just use them for kind of guard dogs. I think it'll look pretty cool, man. Anyways, gonna go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.